Scientists across the world focusing on an asteroid years away. It has a very slim chance of hitting Earth, and researchers are making sure it stays like that. It's actually not that slim. It's, it's bigger than you think. There's a chance. There's a chance. Steve Nielsen spent the day in Flagstaff, where some of the most important data is being gathered. This is cool. Lowell Observatory is one of only three or four telescopes in the world right now monitoring this asteroid's path to keep us safe. A glimpse of an asteroid on a black and white telescope observation. That's asteroid 2024 YR4. And there's a very small chance it could hit Earth. 2.1% right now. Uh, our hope is that as we continue to monitor the object, we'll see that the trajectory in 2032 moves off of the Earth and the impact probability will go to zero. Nick Moskovitz with Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff says they're monitoring the asteroid at this critical time to determine the trajectory. Right now, we're sort of in this transition where uh, the telescopes like the Lowell Discovery Telescope, which is a four meter telescope, 16, 17 feet across, those are the only telescopes in the world that can see it. A lot is still unknown, but NASA believes it's about the size of a football field. That's about the same size asteroid that caused Meteor Crater in Arizona. Not going to cause mass extinction events. It's not near the end of the dinosaurs like impact, uh, but it would have significant regional consequences. Now remember, there's a 98% chance it doesn't hit us, but if the odds fail us, the good news? Oh, wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. We have experience with this. In 2022, Moskovitz and researchers from U of A and NAU were integral to the DART mission, which threw a satellite hard into an even larger asteroid called Dimorphos and was able to change its trajectory. Space missions take years of planning, but Moskovitz believes that can be streamlined for planetary defense. We could simply copy DART. We've done that before down to the last screw, right? Like, this would not take 10 years to do. Lowell will keep at it. April is the date to keep in mind. At that point, we should have a lot more information on this asteroid and whether or not we need to start getting prepared. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.